how do love and wrath coexist in the person of God? So let me answer that with a question and then give you an illustration. What would you think of a God who delighted in sin or turned a blind eye to it? Now, when we think about ourselves, we're like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. But what about the person who's wronged you? Imagine you live in a, in a town where your house was robbed. But imagine that happened to you, and you called the police, and their response to you was, hey, around here, we love criminals. They probably needed the money, so just let it go. What would your response be? I don't think you'd be very happy with that. Would you feel safe in that town? Could you say about this, that town, I'm glad I live in such a loving community. You see, you wouldn't feel safe, and nor would you think that police force is loving. Because they're not exercising justice to keep the community safe. In the same way, a God who loves and never shows justice isn't loving. And he certainly wouldn't be worthy of our worship. 